Hello, Earthlings. My name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel, full of cyberpunk and neurodivergence and travel into unknown universes. <laughs> You're probably wondering, why are you sitting back in New Jersey? Let's start when we were in London, where we left off. The last couple days in London, I finish up doing some photo shoots with friends, meeting new people, and then finally leaving because I had a round trip to London. The last photo shoot I did was with my friend from Australia, actually, who was visiting at the same time as me, which was really cool to finally meet up and do a photo shoot together. I think maybe it would be sick, like, you leaning against uh, that. Mm -hmm. Just leaning yeah. against, like, the railing. Yeah. It was so cold. Fucking cold. <laughs> That's a good view. It was fucking cold, though. Let me just say, it was very, very cold. cold one of the coldest photo shoots I've done, um, and I've done some pretty cold ones back in Montreal. I really did squeeze a lot in while I was in London, and I didn't even make that many vlogs about it because it wasn't there very long. I'm thinking, should I move to London? That's the question. Comment below. I know this is a decision that I have to make, but I'm really about 90% sure that I want to do that. I no longer have a base in America anymore, so I'm going to start trying to travel full time and I have some ideas and opportunities doing that, but I think ultimately I would like to have a base in London. I mean, why not? I can pretty much be anywhere since I work mobily. And side note, to be honest, Big Ben wasn't that impressive in person. Honestly, I travel for the people, so I'm pretty impressed by all my photographer friends. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> and on another side note, I know that I'm just a humble American, but I do believe, and I don't know if this is weird to say, the public transportation in London is phenomenal. I really like it. I love the tube. I had a great time shooting last night. I stayed up too late. I keep staying up too late. I didn't ever get over the jet lag, by the way. Am I a seasoned, organized travel girl? No. But we know this. Do I get over my jet lag when I go to countries? No. Do I get up early? No. Do I go and culture myself as much as possible? Also, no. I kind of just crashed the last couple days and did as much as I could, but really the jet lag got the best of me and then I had to leave. And so I went to the airport and left England, sadly. Now I told you I was gonna travel back to the farm right whenever I got back to America, but <laughs> you're probably wondering, why are you sitting back in New Jersey? Some things didn't go according to plan. Plans are always changing though, you have to flow with it. That is life, isn't it? I was meant today, actually, to take a road trip to the farm back in Pennsylvania, but that didn't happen. My mom got COVID and I couldn't go right now. So I'm waiting for her to get over that. And then when I got home, I started to feel a bit sick. So I feel sick. Um, I did come into contact with someone who had COVID, so I'm gonna take a test today and praying that it's not, because I don't feel like it is. I feel like I'm just sick from traveling and stuff and not sleeping a lot. So I can't do anything right now. I am stuck into the confines of this square box. I can't go out until I am sure whether I um, am positive or negative. So I'm gonna take that test today. I'm waiting for my best friend to bring it to me. In the meantime, I do still have plans. I am still going back to Pennsylvania. And after that, I am also traveling internationally again. I uh, have some, nothing's confirmed yet, so I can't say exactly where I'm going, but by January, I'm going international again. I got a lot of clothes from some different brands and I wanted to do a little try-on haul because I haven't done one of those in, well, ever, forever. I just thought I would give you a little haul of those because I love um, pockets, I love cyberpunk, and I love techwear, and I love futuristic clothes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna figure out how to show you this the best way possible. So this is hard to get all in this type of horizontal shot, which I'm not used to filming in because I'm always doing TikToks and reels and stuff. So it's kind of hard to fit this in, but this is the first outfit. So this is, this top's from Cyberdog. This is from Cyberdog, which I really love this. 
This is from Yokia Society. This is the first outfit. I'll do a little, I'll get it from the top here too. Let's see, do, 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 do. details. I feel like I should do like some sort of cool transition. Okay, I don't know what that was. This is not something I would typically wear. Um, I would wear these in different types of outfits. I don't, I'm not a raver. Like I don't like going to raves. I've never really been to one and I, I don't like festivals or loud music or shows. So this is not particularly something I would wear. Without this, I probably would though, because it looks a bit more, they look like they're lit up, but they're not like a bunny. Extraterrestrial rabbit. So this is what this looks like. Okay, so this is the next outfit. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this. This doesn't necessarily go very well with this outfit, but it's kind of cool. It has to be wear worn with a very particular outfit, but not this one. This is from Cy uh, Cyberdog as well. And this top is also from Cyberdog. This, these are kind of like tech wear pants. I don't really know what to say about these clothes. Like, all right, so I got these kind of cool pants in this top. So we'll do that next. And these are from Nana Kawaii Boutique or something like that. Oops, only halfway done. <laughs> I didn't feel like lacing this all up, but you get the idea. I'm really lazy today, but again, I'm sick, okay? This is what we got. So this one is from Nana Kawaii. Whatever, if you look up the tree, you could find it if you look up on Instagram. Um, not something I would typically normally wear. This is another one from Cyberdog. It's like a spacey, I see it as kind of like an alien type of dress. Do you guys even care about this? I don't know who I'm even talking to right now. This is not, this is not the content that I want to make, but I do, I do like, um, like fashion stuff. So, but I just want to get back out traveling. I wasn't ready to come back. Let's, let's switch into alien. Oh, my other camera died. Better lady. It's really messy in my room because I was throwing clothes everywhere. But here is the last one. This look better in heels. I could put heels on, but again, <laughs> I'm lazy. It's a cool dress, isn't it? Da, da, da. Ignore the mess in the back. So that is my little try on all. Try on all? Try on haul. Cyberpunk extraterrestrial tech wear style. The other adventure in today's video is waiting for Denai to bring me a COVID test. We'll see if I'm positive or not. So much fun. <clears throat> I had a sore throat like yesterday, but it went away. Hopefully the next video will be me getting out of here and going to the farm or somewhere else. Thank you. It's such a lonesome life. this so much. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now. Do not read the result before 15 minutes or after. So we wait 15 minutes. I'm not scared of actually getting COVID. I'm scared of the isolation period. So it is a moment of truth whether I test positive or negative. I have not looked at the test. The 15 minutes is up now and I'm gonna look at it now. There's absolutely no second line, which means I'm negative. Oh God, thank you so much. I do not have COVID. I'm just sick with like a cold or something. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes. When I'm sick, it doesn't really bother me. I usually never get sick. I just have a sore throat and like a runny nose, but I really do believe and did believe it was just from traveling and getting back and all the weather changing and stuff. But okay, so COVID free. 
I was really concerned there for a second. We have more adventures coming. We had to take a little pit stop because of this whole mess, but we're gonna move along. And if you get one thing out of any of my videos, just go along with the flow. It's really hard for me, but life is always gonna change and you're gonna be very unhappy if you try to control everything and, and plan everything to a T. It's not gonna work out that way. So just some, some things just let it go and let it flow. These, this is the adventure of life. And I know sometimes videos may be a little boring and repetitious that I do, but it's all, it's all an adventure to me. Stay extraterrestrial, stay cyberpunk, and stay healthy. Goodbye.